Good morning everyone, today is April the 1st. There's been no April Fools going on here, no. Uh, my name is Hannah, hello. This is my studio vlog in which I basically show you what I get up to day to day. Yes. Um, today's task, sort out this mess of a room, yeah. Yeah, it's atrocious. Mm. Um, and get the new desk in, which I'm very excited about. Um, but yeah, I need to do a bit of sorting and clearing up first. Yeah, it's not my most, in fact, it's my, one of my least favorite jobs is tidying and sorting things, so yeah. But it needs doing, so I gotta get on with it. Suck it up, buttercup, and all that jazz. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a slow start to the morning, it's already like 11 o'clock, but you know. So yeah, I had a chill morning knitting my uh, no faded sweater uh, jumper, and yeah. I had a chill morning in my gym jams wearing my dressing gown, and it was delightful. But I'm feeling a bit better now, so I've showered, I've put mascara on, we're letting the spots free today, um, because all I'm doing is tidying up this mess of a room. Yeah. Let's do it. So now we're getting into the uh, desk building portion of the video. Mary has come along to help me. We are the stereotypical straight couple in that I read the instructions and he does the building. I don't know. But um, yeah, so FlexiSpot was so kind uh, to reach out and offer a standing desk to me. Um, in exchange for me featuring it on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much. This is the Standing Desk EZ1, I guess EZ1, um, which is designed to be used in a home office setup, which this is. And I said, oh, funny, I've actually been looking at your desk, because I had been. Um, yeah, it's, I wanted a standing desk for packaging purposes alongside um, other things. Um, and also I would be able to adjust the height of the desk so maybe I can bead weave at the desk more um, because the desk that I currently have or had I guess up there I mean it's still up there we need to bring it down um, it wasn't tall enough in comparison to the chair so I was slouching over a lot and it was making my back hurt which is kind of annoying when you're sat at the desk for ages so even if you're someone with a long body or you're someone who is tall getting an adjustable desk is fantastic and so useful and will save you a lot of backache yes um, I was slightly concerned about putting this together because um, it is an adjustable standing desk, so it does change the height, which means it does have a motor. I was a little concerned. I thought it would be difficult. It's not difficult. It's not difficult in the slightest. The instructions are clear. They're easy to read. Um, they're very akin to other flat pack furniture instructions, just without the figures of the little, little people on them. Um, but yeah. They provide all the tools and such that you need, except for you will need a screwdriver and a power drill. And um, yeah, I found it, I mean, Mario helped me put it together. It is extremely sturdy, which is fantastic, because that's what you want, ideally, from a desk. You want it to be sturdy. Um, but it means that these legs are so weighty. When So the box with the legs arrived on one day and then the tabletop arrived after the weekend and I couldn't actually move the box with the legs because they were, they were pretty surprisingly heavy. Um, I maybe could have done it, but yeah, I just 
got Mario to do it instead because um, he's used to lugging dough around for a living as he is a baker. Um, yeah, all in all, I reckon that this maybe took us half an hour, 45 minutes to put together. We had to take a lunch break because my camera battery died. Um, but yeah, it didn't take that long. I will say it was a two person job because um, of how heavy it is. I don't think I could have put this together by myself. Maybe Mario could have put it together by himself, but you, you see, you need two people to flip the legs over and to, to do all that. Um, and yeah, it was surprisingly easy to put together. So, the if you're interested in getting a standing desk for yourself, there is a link in the description box below. Um, and yeah. Like I said, it's fully adjustable. It goes very high. I, you'll see after this, um, but it goes pretty high, which is amazing. You can also preset height. So if there's multiple people using the desk, you can all have your own little preset. So if someone's five foot two and someone's six foot two, you can still both use the desk. You just push the button and the desk will rise to the height that you set it as, which is super cool and super useful and means you're not stood there holding a button while the desk goes up and the desk goes down. I also thought it would be super noisy, but it's not noisy at all. Um, it's very quiet. I was impressed. I was very impressed. I've never used a standing desk before and I've never used an adjustable desk before. So I was really curious to know what it would be like and how easy it would be to put together and things like that. And yeah, pleasantly surprised. We didn't face any issues putting it together, there was nothing missing, there was nothing unclear, and yeah, it was just, it was great, great all round. Um, but yeah, like I say, I read the instructions, <laughs> Mario puts it together, because um, yeah, we are a stereotype. I hate that we're a stereotype, but we are a stereotype. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that this desk will really make packaging so much easier and will totally change how I use my office space now. Um, it's in a much lighter area of the attic space and yeah. Oh, plugging the electrics in, how fancy. Um, yeah, I just now need to move the other desk downstairs and find somewhere else to store my beads now that I don't have a drawer there. So yeah. Huzzah, we put it together. Woo! Yeah. Okay, packaging this is going to be a dream. And there's down. And you can set different heights. Yeah, you can save height positions. You mean? So if two people are using it, two different heights. What does that mean? How tall does it go? Hundred. Careful it's not fall out. It goes really high. Okay, so how do I, how tall do I want to pack it? Here? About here, right? Yes. A bit lower. Kind of like belly belly button height is probably good, and then you press M M to save M and save that as my standing. So that's three. So then if I lower it, and then I press mm -hmm. this. Nice. Cool! Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. You can change the height of it. You can save height settings. I don't have much experience with standing desks. I've now got more boxes to get rid of. Um, I don't have much experience with standing desks, especially motorized ones. But you can change, you can save the height, which I think is pretty cool. So if you have multiple people using the desk, you can each have your own little setting. So I've changed my standing, 
my personal standing height setting, which I'm guessing I can adjust. I can adjust. It says how to reset. But it means now I just have to press one button and then it should raise. So I saved it as this one, which is like, it's called three. And then if I press it, it should raise to the height that I saved it as, which I believe is 101, which is super cool. So I wanted to see how tall the desk goes. It went up to number 121. I don't know what height that, what unit of measurement that refers to, but it's kind of, you're sat on it right now, it's kind of my bust height. And I am uh, five foot seven. So if you are a taller person, this is even gonna be a great desk for you, which is very interesting. Yeah. I am very impressed. It feels really stable. It feels really sturdy. Um, it's quite weighty. That's why I needed Mario's help building it because I'm a weakling. And yeah, very impressed. So I have, if you check the link in the, um, the top link in the description box below, that will take you to the website. It's not an affiliate link. Uh, I don't get paid any money if you buy the desk, but if you fancy an adjustable desk, they come in a variety of sizes, widths. Um, I believe I have the 120 centimeter desk. Not even I believe, I do have. And you can choose different um, worktops and leg colors and all sorts. I went with black to go with the um, wire cubes that I have. And yeah, very exciting. Very excited to have this sorted. So when I package clubs next week, week after next, let's be realistic. Um, I will be testing this out and seeing how good it is. And I'm looking forward to standing up to package instead of sitting down and like just being able to move around more. It's pretty cool. So yeah, very impressed. Thanks FlexiSpot. Good desk, enjoying it, thank you. So um, yeah, that was my goal for the day was to clear this space and get this built no, it's maybe not the most exciting vlog ever, but um, yeah, I might go down and knit on my no faded sweater for a bit um, and just chill out, have a bit of a chill out day. I don't know, I should be working, but I'm taking some time. Taking some time. I need to deal with these boxes at some point, I need to go to the tip, or the recycling center is the tip, um, and yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see this take shape a bit more. Yes. And then I gotta look at the fun that will be the dye shed and get going on that a bit more. Ooh, very exciting. Cause then yeah, all of the bare yard that I have in here will be down there. It won't be in here taking up space anymore. Good times. Good times. So Mary's playing a new game that I can't remember what it's called. Outriders called Outriders. Here he is, dressed in a blanket. Hey Miranda, we still have this blanket you gifted to us. It's used Who's frequently. Miranda? She gifted the blanket to us. I knew that. Thank you. And the pumpkin spice mix. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, among other things that Mary doesn't know, like tea and knitting books. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is my no faded do 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 do. I have done just I've cast off the collar and I realized I think I'm knitting a size up from the other two that I've knit before so I was a bit worried I'm gonna run out of wool so what I think I'm going to do is pause the body knit the sleeves and then go back to the body when I know how much wool I have left which is also why I've knit the collar now because um, I think that's a smart thing to do. I have a new stitch or a new progress keeper on it by Kawaii Studios. Very cute. It's a little. Eh, this is terrible. I'll just do one of these. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Little cream egg cupcake. Super cute. I love it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to pick up the sleeves and knit them to the elbow, and then I'll know how much wool I've got left for the body. Um, so that seems like a smart move because then I can just knit until I have no wool left. So I'll probably pick up some sleeves. Got another cup of tea on the go because Mario made me a tea. Thank you very much, Mario. You made your tea, so both my teas today. Yeah. 
um, at this rate, you're not going to have a let's go make a cup of tea because Maria is making them all for me. No complaints. Anyway, I'm going to get back to knitting and watching Maria play Outriders. Outriders, yeah. Outriders. Hey folks, <clears throat> excuse me, very excited about the desk. Um, yeah, I do need to transfer all of my stuff from my old desk to the new desk and find a new way of storing my beads because I've been storing them, I'm so spotty, I've been storing them in the drawer underneath the desk and my new desk obviously doesn't have a drawer. So I need to think of a new way of storing them. I'll have a think, um, but yeah. And then, eventually, that desk will be brought down and we'll go there and we'll have the computer on it and all of that. Um, and then some of this stuff will be going in the conservatory, sunroom place. And yeah, it's nice to finally get the house sorted a bit. Um, and I'm excited for packaging on that new desk. I think it's going to be super cool. Um, yeah, I do need to find somewhere to put my grid wall. The joys of an attic room is there is no space for a five foot grid wall. Uh, so maybe I'll just lay it down and not put it up right now. Um, it could potentially eventually go in the dye shed, I guess. But then I don't really want to store dyed yarn in the dye shed. Because then I don't want to package down there because I'll be packaging up there. I don't know. Because I imagine it will get very humid in the dye shed. And so I don't really want newly dyed yarn there. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, I'm thinking about buying a new camera. Uh, it's getting to the end of the financial year. And so, you know, just trying to up my expenses a little bit. Um, yeah. Just cause. And it's what you do as a business. So, yeah. I've got a big yarn order that arrived. I maybe have to do another one from the other place I order yarn from because I get yarn from two places because why not? And then I need to, yeah, I'm thinking about getting a new camera. I've been talking to Becky about it because she's done way more research than I have done and she's far more knowledgeable about cameras than me. Um, because I was going to buy one on like Black Friday. I hate that we have Black Friday in this country. It makes no sense because we don't have Thanksgiving. But um, I was going to get one on Black Friday and then I thought, well, I've not really done a whole lot of videos this year because last year I didn't really. I just did podcasts and they weren't consistent. They were kind of inconsistent. Um, but then with Vlogmas, I really enjoyed it and then wanted to keep vlogging. So this is what I'm doing. I'm still going. I think I've maybe missed since I've started after Christmas, doing three a week, I think I've maybe missed one that was Mario's birthday, which I think is fine. Um, and I'm really enjoying it and chatting with you all and blah, blah, blah. So I, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of treating myself to a new camera and um, have improved quality. So I bought a microphone and yeah, I might buy a new camera. Which I'm very, much looking forward to. I was gonna say I'm very excited about it again. Um, I have made incredible progress on my sleeve. I know. I shouldn't be using my teeth, but it's only me that uses these. So this is marking my decreases. I'm going with the turquoise and yellow theme. It just happened, and so I embraced it. Turquoise and yellow. Like the Swedish flag, but not quite. Um, or I just need magenta and then I'm like the primary colours of a um, printer. But, um, yeah. Getting them done and then I'm just going to knit to the elbow. But I do quite have quite long arms. But I should go get my other so faded and just knit it to the same size. Um, and yeah, then I've just got the other sleeve to do. And then by the time I finish the body... I'll just be completely done. Maybe by the time I film the podcast, I think on Tuesday, I think I'm going to be filming the podcast. Even though I was going to die up clubs on Tuesday. But I need to record a podcast. 
next week. Um, and I can't do Monday because it's back holiday and we're playing D&D, &D, so it's Tuesday. Um, I think I might potentially be finished with this jumper. It's very optimistic of me. Maybe I won't be, but who knows. It's what I'm going to be doing this evening anyway, because Mary has just gone to bed. Ten past seven. Because he has to go in for about half past two tomorrow morning, which is ridiculous. Um, but it's Easter weekend in a bakery, so it's going to be busy. But yeah, I'm probably just going to watch some telly. Do a spot of bit spot more knitting. I finished Critical Role earlier. Um, and yeah. Maybe make myself a tea, caffeine free, obviously, for this late in the evening. And just chill out. Just have a nice time. It's meant to be getting very cold. This threat of snow, even though two days yesterday it got up to 22 degrees Celsius. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to put a jumper back on to run tomorrow morning. Mm. I'll run for 25 minutes tomorrow. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm probably gonna head off. I don't think this is going to be an incredibly long video. Most of it is us building a desk, so I'm very sorry about that. It's just how it worked out. <laughs> it's basically what we did today. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you want to get a desk of your very own, check the link in the description box below. Down there are also links to my social media if you'd like to follow me on there. I'm most active on Instagram, uh, in particular Instagram stories is where I post the most. So if you'd like to follow me, that would be delightful. And uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe. Like I said, I'm currently posting three times a week videos like this, little studio vlog type things. I've got another one coming out on Monday uh, where I film my die day on Saturday. So that'll be very exciting. So feel free to uh, subscribe, turn on notifications if that sounds like something you're interested in. Leave me a comment down below, the vlog you check in. We love to see it. Let me know what you have got up to since I've last spoken to you. Have you made any progress on the projects that you're working on? And uh, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it, that would be great. I think I forgot to say that in the last video. If you hated it, you can dislike it, it all helps. It's all engagement, so thanks. Also share it, I guess. I don't know if this is a particularly shareable video though. Anyway, I think this is the first vlog in which I have not made a cup of tea, so, yeah. Thanks everyone so, so much for watching. I have loved spending the day with you, and I will see you very soon in Monday's video. Have a nice weekend. Bye.